Previously on MDs. I love you. I do. I... I'm really sorry. She seemed like a nice girl. She was. I want another chance. I'm remarried. This is my news. But I have entered into a contract and I am duty bound to honor it and honor it. I'm executing, don't you know? I'm sick. Don't you know I'm sick? Oh, you just shut up. Doctor, where's the plastic surgeon? Doctor Wu. He's in Bay 9 reattaching a finger. I almost cut it clean off. Index or thumb or pinky. A pinky? A pinky? Nobody needs a pinky. This is cosmetic surgery, and Sutra Medical is not going to pay for it. It's the man's finger. It is a pinky. It is the appendix of fingers. You do not need it. Look at Mickey Mouse. He gets along just fine with that. I can I can do anything. I can make an okay. I can pick things up. <gasps> That's Don't touch it. Sorry, sorry. I can tie my shoes. All you need is thumb and index. Thumb and index. Thumb and index. The rest are expensive. Reattach it. Not on Sutro's nickel. Hey, Doc. Here's the only finger I need. Oh, that's rich. I'm fine. Really? Doing fine. Staying busy. Working nonstop. I like taking care of patients. Let's talk about Gina's death. Look, I'm through all the stages of mourning, denial. Sure, denied it at first. Come on, who on this well-being committee hasn't? Bargaining. Depression. Absolutely, yeah. And now I'm on to acceptance. So, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. What about anger? How do you mean? Kubler-Ross talks about five stages of mourning. Well, you just listed four. You skipped anger. No, I did. I started with anger. I did. <laughs> Jim. What's the problem, Manoj? Major log jam in the OR. When you put a plug up your ass, it all comes out your mouth. What's this? John Doe. The EMTs found him on the bridge, doubled over in pain. I don't want to see a doctor. Well, bud, today you probably won't see one. Call the intern. Oh, let me go. We need to free up some beds or shut the doors. Five second rule. <sighs> well, oh, bollocks. <laughs> you got that right. So how you doing, all right? Yeah, fine. Fine. How are things you did? Yeah, good, good. My boy's coming by this afternoon. Good. So I'll see you later. Hey, what do we got? Belly pain. Leave me alone. And he's glad he's here. Did the x-rays come back? Just the chest. Still waiting on the abdomen. We printed it backwards. Radiology's a train wreck today. Dr. Prange to NICU staff. Dr. Prange to NICU staff. Hey. Oh, really? Why don't you show me where it hurts? Just leave me alone. Hey, it's gonna be all right, okay? It's gonna be all right. Look at that, all his organs are flipped. We've only ever seen one in a textbook. Where is he? Let's go and have a look. 
Well, now. Dr. Yang tells me you have some abdominal pains, Mr. You don't need to know my name. Okay. Let's just have a little look. Now listen. Oh. So there? Not really. Well, it's a long list. You could have an abscess, perforated appendix. Appendix is on the other side. Not in your case. You have a condition called situs inversus. Your organs are transposed. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Well, it's, it's just some kind of mistake. Look, there's no mistake. Will you just get back onto the bed, please? Look, I know how to live with pain. Can I please just go? We need to find out what's wrong inside, okay? This is a hospital. Do you want us to find out what's wrong with you or not? Okay. You know my secret. My organs are reversed because I'm not from this place. San Francisco? Earth. Got them from Arcane. Thought we could use them as employee incentives. When your parent company owns a theater chain, why not have a little synergy? Well, we gotta do something. I just got off the phone with Orbach. I guess he wasn't too thrilled with their last financial report. I only started here midway through the quarter, so he couldn't hang the whole thing on me. But there was Very something good. strange in his voice, like maybe he wasn't telling me something. No, no, no. I won't agree the word. No. Excuse me, sir, can I help you? Hello. Are you lost? I'm looking for room 2311. There is no room 2311. There used to be. No, there's not now. It was right over there. Or was it right over there? Are you visiting a patient? No, I'm visiting a room. Yo, help this guy find his room. Where to, Pops? Uh, I'm over here. Over here. Just, you know, uh, going through some old financial records. Well, you scared me to death. <laughs> I, I apologize. So, uh, why are you going through old billing records? Oh, I, uh, I find it fascinating, you know, the cost curves, the profit flows. There's 90 years of mission general history. Profligate spending, the waste, the inefficiency, it's all documented right here. Well, those who forget the past are doomed to repeat it. Who told you? Who told me what? Never mind. It's just not Chester? No, it's not. It's, it's, it's... Chester, is there something going on? It's just, it's just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sworn to secrecy. Oh, well, please, forget I asked. Just a secrecy is so severe that to sever it would be to sever the very tendons of my office. Please, I, I respect that. I mean, I don't I feel just, like you have I, to tell I, me. I know, I, mean, I... I understand. I would never ask I you to do that. Chester, you don't need to say another word. You really want to know? Yes, I do. The winds of change are upon us. Soon, all of this will be mine. The records? Or the hospital. Sutra Medical's parent company, Magnemedicus International, is buying Mission General from the Arcane Corporation. It's going to become an HMO affiliate. And I'm going to run it. 
Chester. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're at Mission General. Oh, I can tell yes. I can't hear Mission... the doctor, Marlene. I'm trying to get sit here so you can come over and sign the papers. What time is he going under the knife? Uh, later this afternoon. Tell him to be here by 12 or we get another lawyer. Yes. Bye. Sure. Yes. Just I want everything to be in order just in case. Marlene, I don't want to think about just in case when I'm about to go into major surgery. Stop being so melodramatic, Arthur. It's a bypass. Kellerman? No, no. I'm Hello? doing all right. <clears throat> How can... Excuse me. Uh... I need her back by Friday. Oh, Lord, is that a brain? Yes, it's, it's, it is a brain. It's from my son's science project. Hang on. If Arthur wants to donate his body to science, does he need to fill out any forms? What? The first thing I noticed when I took over Ozark Creek was that even though some of the rides had higher foot traffic, mm -hmm. the employees couldn't be shuffled around to help run them because they were only trained to operate the attractions they were assigned to. Of course, this place is losing money hand over fist because people like that are in charge. Look at them. Happily paying a dollar fifty ATM fee instead of walking down the street to their own bank. Every penny counts. Exactly. I instituted a kind of triage rotation where employees were trained to handle all the rides and could go wherever they were needed. Makes sense. It boosted productivity and saved us a bundle. So what do you think about doing the same with the nursing staff? Are you kidding? Do you have any idea what the nurses' union would have to say about that? You're going to do great things here. Two of two. Hospital escort to CCU. Hospital escort to CCU staff. Looks like an abscess, but we won't know till we get him into surgery. Look, I understand the risks. I just really want to go. You want to leave? Yeah. You want to go? Yes. Well, just go then, but it's against my advice. Listen, he's, he's Maggie, a great surgeon. Maggie, it's all right. If he doesn't want our help, send him home. for me, okay? No, is something wrong, Dr. Dalgetty? No, uh, it's all right. Just, uh, we don't have time for this today. He's sick. Well, then, if he's sick, he'll be back. There's plenty of people around here who want our help. If he doesn't, send him home. Miss Pangborn won't know what hit her. Blithely going about her business. Yep. Poor woman doesn't know it's already too late. It's 85. 85. When is this buyout expected to take place? By 36. Not for a few months. I just want to be prepared to hit the ground running. I have a vision for this place. And with your help, I can make it a reality. Well, you know you can count on me. I can think of no finer candidate for the position of assistant administrative director than you. I'll need you by my side. There's no place I'd rather be. I promised myself I uh, wouldn't tell you this, but it has occurred to me that once I'm reaping the rewards of a hospital administrator's salary, I, uh, I'll be able to afford to divorce my wife. Divorce her? Would you ever be able to look at me again the same way, knowing that I'd broken my vow? I want you to be happy. You make me happy. Oh, this is all happening so fast. So fast. Me too. Dizzy. Oh, I know. I know. Uh, oh. Aileen. Chester. I need some help in here! 